Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different than usual. Today, I'm going to be installing Preloader on my Wii U's Virtual Wii. In pretty much every single guide for Virtual Wii modding, people have said not to install Preloader. I'm going to explain this in the way I've understood it, but if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments section. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to kind of explain how I have understood this. Virtual Wii Wii menu is basically the Wii menu 4.3U that has been kind of encrypted to work on a Wii U only. And I've tried before to install a virtual Wii environment dolphin, and every single time I've done that, I've gotten an error. Basically, the virtual Wii menu is the same thing for the Wii U, but it has some features removed. So for example, you can't adjust the settings without special WADs, the message board function, the Mii channel is a little limited, there's no Mii parade and things like that. Funny thing is, is last night out of boredom, I posted a survey asking you guys if you prefer playing your original Wii games on your Wii or your Wii U. And a majority of you guys answered that you prefer to play them on your Wii U. Now my channel is about mostly Wii U and should be about 3ds modding so i guess there is a little bit of a bias in there but i was actually surprised we're going to talk about this more later but there have been some people who have told me that wii games actually look worse on a wii personally i think they look better i mean that's just my personal opinion after using a wii for a very long time and then moving over to a wii u to play my wii games i know some people say that the games look a little bit sharper but there's actually a mod in preloader to fix that i also know that it's a little bit harder to get gamecube stuff working and you can't use memory cards and i think the other thing that you can't really do on a virtual wii would be being able to connect your Game Boy advance that's not possible on a virtual wii even through the adapter i haven't actually talked about this but i actually did go ahead and i took out my old Wii that was sitting in its box and I connect it to a CRT and I've been messing around with it a little. I also never show you guys my second Wii U in my setup tour because I didn't have the correct stand at the time to kind of put it in my setup. Anyways, I think I've talked for more than enough time. Let's get started in actually installing Preloader. I'll be doing this on my Wii and Wii U for now, but I will also get around to doing this on my other Wii U as well. By the way, do not use this as a tutorial because this might change and I don't want anyone bricking their virtual Wii at all. Don't use this as a tutorial because you never know. Just go to this link. Go to this link. Don't use this as a tutorial because I feel like it might change. Alright, let's just get started, shall we? So there's two requirements here that I need. No one says that it's highly recommended to get the Preloader Wii U forwarder. I'm actually not going to do that right now because I don't have Aroma on my Wii and I can always do this later. So for now, even though this is highly recommended and if you do have Aroma on your Wii U, I'd highly recommend doing this. We're actually going to brush past this for now. Alright, I got my SD card in my PC and I'm just going to copy over the Load Preloader and also the Preloader app. Alrighty, so now that that's done, there are a few warnings over here that I can see. For example, if you're on a virtual Wii, do not install a theme after installing Preloader, or you will brick your virtual Wii and you'll have to use my guide that I've created in order to restore it. So yeah, be careful, don't do that. I already have the dark theme on my Wii U, and I was thinking about changing up the theme a little bit, but that might happen on my second Wii U. I actually kind of like the dark theme. Also, this says that it has absolutely no impact on Wii U Virtual Console titles. That's the majority of the way that I actually play my Wii games on my Wii U. Just so much easier than having to go into Wii mode and having to launch a channel forwarder. So, I'm fine with that. I mean, it doesn't affect me too much. Alright, I'm going to keep this open and I guess I'll see you guys all over on my Wii U. While we're getting there, I do want to ask you guys some questions. So, what kind of content do you guys want to see on my channel? major thing that I did on my channel was the Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector Guides. And you guys really seem to enjoy those. I do want to create some 3DS modding videos as well. And there are still some things left on the Wii U. Like for example, there's a secret Wii channel that a lot of people don't know about. I posted about this on my discussion tab. But if you guys want to see a video on that, feel free to let me know. Also, I'm considering multi-streaming on YouTube now that that's allowed as an affiliate on Twitch. So you guys will be able to watch my streams on there as well. Of course, I prefer Twitch by a long shot because such a better platform but if you guys really don't want to go to twitch and still want to watch my streams i will be streaming on youtube as well all right so it says that there's a virtual we detected that's cool press a to install sure all right that was pretty straightforward all right let's exit back to the system menu Oh cool, we got Preloader on a virtual Wii. Oh my god, that's crazy. It's still crazy to see this because people just always said that this would never happen. Alright, so let's check out some of the things that we can do in here. 
I don't think you can use the Wii U buttons to control this, so I'm just going to stick to my rear remote here. Let's head on over to System Menu Hacks. Oh my god, now you can use all these! It's so cool. I guess I'll turn off online updates even though it's impossible for online updates to happen on the Wii side of the Wii U. I guess I should turn on Move Disk Channel as I made a video about that a few years ago. How to move the disk channel on a virtual Wii without preloader. Sure, why not? <laughs> Uh, I don't really do other region stuff on my Wii U, so I'm gonna hold off on that. I don't think I'm gonna mess around with the things I don't know about. I'm gonna turn on Remove Deflicker as the guide actually recommends that. I'm gonna turn on Wii System Settings as the way you have to do it on a virtual Wii is kind of tedious. And create messages via the calendar button. I'm gonna turn that on, that's cool. I'm gonna turn this on, why not? Always turn on Wii Connect 24 on boot, I'm gonna turn that on. Alright, so I think I turned on all the things that are worth turning on. Also, I think a lot of people actually complain about the deflicker on the Virtual Wii. I think that's more annoying on the Virtual Wii. So this should get rid of that and make the Wii games look much better. I guess I can mess around with these things a little bit, but I honestly don't really want to. I think we're good. Let's head back to the system menu and mess around with some of these tweaks. These are kind of cool, not gonna lie. Alright, let's see. Okay, first thing I'm curious about is this. What? I guess I enabled this wrong or something. Let's see if I can move the disc channel. I can! That's cool. I think I noticed that it looks slightly better without the def- It's not like a huge difference, but I definitely do think it does look nicer. Let's check out the forecast channel, why not? Says this is off. Uh-oh. I'm gonna reboot my virtual Wii and see if that helps with some of the things that aren't working. I think I finally understand why this isn't leading to settings. The reason for that is because the option that I turned on was to keep the virtual Wii settings and the Wii U settings completely separate. I see now. That's very interesting. I'm dumb for not reading that properly. I'm still a little confused on why the forecast channel won't work, but I think that has to do with a specific iOS or something. Alright, I'm gonna head back over to system menu hacks, and I'm gonna turn this on. Every single time you boot into the virtual Wii, it will set the settings from the Wii U, which is crazy, but yes, that's how they intended it to work. Alright, let's see if we can access the settings now. Okay, now we can, but we can't access data management. Oh, we can. Alright, so this is definitely the settings, but it doesn't give us the option to select data management. So I guess they completely removed that menu when it was too hard to re-implement into the virtual Wii. Let's see if the Wii message board works. Ah, nice, that's cool. Oh shoot, my Wii has a console number? That's crazy. It does. If you guys want to add me on my virtual Wii here, I'll put it in the description as well, I guess, if you guys really want to. For those of you who have added me on my Wii U, I'm pretty sure whenever you go into Wii mode, you don't see the other person as online. Correct me if I'm wrong with that, though. Let's create a memo. Uh, let me use Zemnis, why not? Nice! That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. I thought they completely removed this functionality. It's still here, but it's kind of tucked into the menu. Some people mention no reset button as being a downside to the virtual Wii, but, but I honestly could not tell you guys the last time I've used the reset button on my Wii. Heck if my theory on the virtual Wii settings being permanent is true, let's head back over to the Wii U menu and reboot into the Wii menu. Alright, let's head on over to Wii options. And Wii Connect 24 is still on, that's really cool. I did have to go through some functionality to get this to work, so I'm pretty sure you guys would have to configure ReConnect 24 on your Wii U in order to get the message board to work. It does kind of suck though that they couldn't bring this button back. I guess it's so hard-coded into the menu that they couldn't have you have your calendar and being able to create messages at the same time. I think I pretty much covered everything that you can do with Preloader. Of course, this wasn't really a guide or anything, it was just me testing around and messing around with it on my virtual Wii. If you did, make sure to definitely drop a sub and like the video. So leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about this. I think it's honestly really cool that this works on a virtual Wii, because it was thought that it would be nearly impossible to get it working. Also, make sure to join our community Discord server at disk.gg slash 
Over there, you guys can get announcements of my content, talk about Wii U and 3DS modding, enjoy funny clips and moments from Twitch chat as well. Also, I post announcements on new Twitch badges as well. And lastly, of course, make sure you check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash datazemnist. I stream Kingdom Hearts 100% playthroughs and Nintendo games over there, so definitely make sure to check that out. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and your continued support, and I'll see you guys all later.